It's time to Where ask the in question. Where the world is Maggie McDaniel? Well, we know where she's not in here, the world so is where Maggie in the world McDaniel? is she? Good morning, Maggie. Where in the world Good are you? Good morning. Well, how specific do you want to be? <laughs> well, are you? I'm in, I'm in a Mila Polish pottery shop buying <laughs> buying Polish pottery in the middle of uh, Krakow Square. Wow. My goodness. So, I know. <laughs> That's we, we had a beautiful mass this morning in the cathedral, mm. right at the tomb of Saint Stanislaus. Mm. Um, then a wonderful walking tour of the old town. We saw the seminary where John Paul studied. We saw the place where the professors were uh, taken and sent away when communism started. And, and so it's just been uh, an amazing, amazing day. And then we had lunch and some free time. <laughs> oh, you call me shopping. <laughs> Well, Perfect. And, and shopping out among the people, right? And so this is the thing, and you've talked about this on the air before. So many places we go on pilgrimage, you talk about the history of the church, the, the incredible things that have happened, the great saints uh, from back in the day. The wonderful thing about Poland is we have incredible saints to talk about, most of them modern saints. And then secondly, the church is still ablaze there. Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable! And you know, I you know I'll probably jump all over the place because I got so much running around in my head. But yesterday we were in Zakopane, we did a raft ride down. But you know, over the weekend it was absolutely packed there. But what we saw were families. Mm-hmm. Families were out. The the father, the mother, the kids. And on Sunday, I said to Monsignor, I said, back home. The dads would be in watching the football games, and the moms would be doing this, and the kids would be on their phones. It's like they're all out together riding bikes, they're kayaking, they're hiking, they're doing this as a family together. Hmm. And I think that is huge. And you think about why is the faith still strong here? I think they do everything as a family. They don't let the uh, world and the outside things or the sports take over family life. It's just incredible. It's, It's a joy to be here. It's an absolute joy to be here. And plus, they're only 40 years removed from communism. Yeah, that's what I wanted wow. to say. So they appreciate life and family and their freedom. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable to think about. Uh, 40 years ago, one of the Polish priests was murdered for being a priest and supporting the people and, and the unions and the rights of the people. He was murdered. Yeah. And that's and the thing. Just 40 years ago in October. The persecution Mm. that happened there, a government that tried everything it could to not only oppress the faith in its in its current day, the folks that were living there and all that, but just absolutely remove it, erase it uh, from their history, from their culture. And they said, no, no, absolutely not. And and grew in their faith during that time. And absolutely, and that was one of the things, too, is what we saw was the first altar where John Paul prayed his first Mass. He had to be ordained, you know, quietly, secretly, he had his first Mass. No one was around. Probably they said one other person in the crypt. Um, they mentioned that, you know, at Mass, the, the priest who had the Mass said he didn't have this honor of having mm. a Mass right here, like for his first Mass or something, because communism was going on. He didn't have that freedom. And what a blessing uh, for us to be able to do that and to, you know, just uh, it, it's just incredible to see what they've gone through and to, now to participate in their freedom and their joy. Mm. And, and, you know, and in the square last night we were walking around. I, can't, I bet you there was a couple hundred thousand people in the square. Yeah. Every table and restaurant was filled. The square mm. was filled. There was music going on, but there was also two churches that were packed. Mm. for adoration mm. there's a little church in the middle of the square has adoration from morning to night uh the marion church has adoration you can walk in anytime and it's packed mm. so people enjoy themselves but they do not forget that our lord comes first and and through persecution He's part of the fabric of their life i was talking to a group uh, the other day and i said look uh, if you want times to be one easier, one. if you want uh, if you want the persecutions to temper down a bit, stop praying for the conversion of the lost. Stop praying that people in your family come back to faith, because when you do that, the Lord gives you an opportunity uh, for things to become dark enough that those folks might see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's incredible. So, I mean, I know everybody likes to go to the Holy Land, which we can't right now. Italy is always one of the first things, but. Even the people are here said, I had no idea how much that they would fall in love with Poland and how Catholic it is and in mm. the history here. So it's really, you know, if you haven't been here, it's really put it on your list. 
add a add a line to your bucket list and and come to Poland. There you go, and and go with the Catholic Faith yeah. Journeys because we love traveling with you. And of well, course, we so you, certainly hope so. Yeah, yeah we would absolutely love to bring you to Poland. So you know, you tell your pastor you want to go to Poland. Let's plan a pilgrimage. Absolutely, and uh, we, you know, we love being the vil, uh, the virtual pilgrim with you uh, because we can follow along, and we get we get to kind of live and travel vicariously through you. But they ain't nothing like being there yourself, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so look at our Facebook page, Catholic Faith Journeys. I've been posting, but we also have one of the people on the trip. <laughs> oh, she's wonderful. She she's in so, she puts things in so much detail. So I've been sharing all of her posts to uh, Catholic Faith Journeys page, too. So uh, she's taken hundreds and hundreds of photos, and mm. she's writing things in more detail than I am. So I just go and enjoy it, and hopefully, uh, um, you know, you'll you'll get a little taste of this and uh yeah and we've got you in prayer along and you can follow along with some of the photos you know we're getting getting close on time here maggie but take us to one place that you visited thus far and and give us a little detail about it okay i would probably have to say when we were up in warsaw when we visited the museum of father popolishki he's the priest that was murdered Mm -hmm. and just to see that was really it really hits home um what our priests give up for us and what we should actually following in their footsteps, give up for the faith where he just laid, you know, he was murdered for the faith and it's not like hundreds or thousands, you know, a thousand years ago. It's like just re- so recent. So mm. yeah, it really hit home. And I have to tell you tomorrow, it's probably going to be really a difficult day because mm. we're going to Auschwitz mm. and then we're going to visit, um, Vadovice where John Paul was, was born. So it's going to be morning's going to be very difficult. Hopefully the afternoon will be a little bit more joyful visiting his hometown, but, um, it's really, it can be quite sobering, but I think it's, uh, something you need to see in, in, uh, experience mm. to really understand what, uh, the strength of the Polish people. Very their profound. strength is phenomenal, and their faith is phenomenal. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And I'm just picturing yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. right now. You're you're standing there at the counter, and they're waiting to check you out while you're talking to us on the phone. And the line is forming yeah, behind yeah, you, like, hey, and people are tapping their feet, going, "All right, you know, come on, let's go." <laughs> Get on with it. Get on with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, so, but no, it's just, I'm glad you could, uh, you know, we were able to connect and I could bring you along a little bit. Thank you, Maggie. We pray pilgrimage blessings on you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.